Good evening and welcome to MSC OPA Season 45. I'm Mike Wright and as always I'm joined by OPA's Executive Director Ann Black. And Ann, always great to see you. It's great to see you, Mike, and thank you to you and all of our friends here at KBTX for helping us spread the news about our stepping out season. Well, it's always our pleasure. And before we get into the new season, I have to first congratulate you on season 44 that concluded last April. It was called Expect the Unexpected, but it'll probably go down in the Opus history books as the Jersey Boys season. And you took a real risk in that, a big chance. You presented a week of the Tony award-winning musical in Rudder, and bottom line, how did it go? I am happy to report that Jersey Boys was not only a big hit on Broadway, it was a big hit in the Brazos Valley. Right. Um, nearly 10,000 patrons attended Jersey Boys. We welcomed audience not only from your viewing area, the KBTX viewing area, but all over the Lone Star State. And it sounds like Texas was really about the Jersey Boys. <laughs> Indeed. But that was just part of last year's season. Here's a look back in a year in which we expected the unexpected. Wow, what a season that was. It really was. Of course, it's easy to remember the Jersey Boys, but we had lots of exciting things last year, including a wall-to-wall -wall sellout of the Russian National Ballet Don Quixote, and our market was responsible for some of the strongest sales for several other programs, including Once, my personal favorite, 
and The Illusionist. Well, that does beg the question, and it was asking the clip that we just ran. How in the world do you follow that? We will follow that by stepping out all season long. Mm. And we encourage our audiences to put their best foot forward and not miss a thing. That's right. Now, the reason for the theme will become apparent as we progress through tonight's presentation. But suffice it to say, if you love good footwear, and who doesn't, stay tuned because this is the season just for you. This new season has been met with a great deal of enthusiasm already. Two weeks into the new season ticket campaign, we had already surpassed last year's wow. subscription sales. That's pretty impressive, and last year's numbers were really good. They were very good. But you never know what kind of reaction you're going to get until you put a season on sale. All right, and so let's talk a little bit about your audience surveys. You know, we survey our patrons every year because audiences change, mm -hmm. their preferences change, their expectations change. So it's crucial that we stay in contact with them. All right, and last year's feedback held a few surprises for us. It did. Of the 12 Broadway titles surveyed last year, we are presenting five of the top eight. The musical that received the most votes was a complete surprise to almost mm. all of us. I'll tell you more about those survey results as we talk about the shows tonight. All right, so let's get right to it. Now to remind you, single tickets and season tickets are on sale now at mscopus.org. Yes, patrons have been able to order season and priority single tickets since we publicly announced on May 30th. However, starting at 7 p.m., our Pick Your Seat season campaign officially kicks off. Visit our website at the conclusion of this show and you'll be able to pick your seat to all of our programs on the Steppin' Out season. And that includes the two special events as well, correct? It does. All right. But for the first one, you better hurry. Tickets to this one are really going fast. All right, I'm going to slip into the radio voice mode, sort of kind of, from the radio days with Good Vibrations, <laughs> Kokomo, Wouldn't It Be Nice, Surfing USA. It's all sponsored by our friends at Holscher, Lipsy, Elmore, and Poole. Don't miss the one-night-only concert on Friday, October 13th by... The Beach Boys. The American Original is back. Friday, October 13th at Runner Auditorium. The Beach Boys Live. The Gold. The Platinum. You get all the Beach Boys hits. Tickets on sale now at msceopus.org. MSC Opus presents The Beach Boys Live. Concerts like this one sell out fast. At 7 p.m. tonight, go to our website, pick your seats, and assure yourself of getting tickets. Now, the second special event on the new Opus season sounds really interesting. It is. Mm. It's a new Broadway musical based on the true story behind the world's most beloved song. It's a captivating tale of romance, rebellion, and redemption. An unforgettable musical saga, it captures the spirit of history's sweetest and most powerful sound. Freedom. And it's called Amazing Grace. The story behind the world's most beloved song is now Broadway's most inspiring new musical. Critics are calling Amazing Grace a spectacular, exhilarating, and beautiful show that elicits widespread gasps and cheering from the audience. A lavish historical epic with a superb cast. Amazing Grace will bring tears to your eyes. It's nothing short of amazing. No better show on Broadway than this show. Absolutely fabulous, fantastic. We know the song, but we don't know the story, and it's a story worth telling. I laughed, I cried. This is a song that we sing all the time, but really knowing the story behind it brings a whole new level of meaning to it. As much as I thought I knew that song, there was a lot I didn't know. This is the best show I have seen and I see quite a lot of theater. And as a teacher, I also thought about my students and how they can make connection to a personal narrative and also learn history. It was just phenomenal. I cried and cried. The man behind me gave, gave me this. The message was rich and real. It's just one of the best shows I've seen in a long time. Pick your seats to these two special events, The Beach Boys and Amazing Grace, at the Opus website at 7 p.m. And now we switch to intimate gatherings. And every year, you tell us about the popularity of this series. And every year, it gets even more popular. Yeah. There are only 750 seats in Rudder Theater, and I think that the intimacy between the artist and the audience 
is why people keep coming back for more. Yeah, I would agree with that. You have six programs on this series this year. And am I correct in assuming these tickets have been going really fast? They have. In fact, one of them is this close to being hmm. sold out. But I have some good news about that. All right, we'll certainly stick around for that news. But the Intimate Gathering series is sponsored by Sterling Auto Group and Allstate exclusive agent Jackie Voss. Here's Ann to tell us about the six events on this series. Take it away. The first Intimate Gatherings program is a play that is an American treasure. Beguilingly simple, this tale of a single family and how they pull apart and then find each other again has been touching audiences for generations. Even though it was a play first, it is perhaps best known for the Oscar-winning film starring Henry Fonda and Katherine Hepburn. The Montana Repertory Theater returns to Rudder with On Golden Pond. Next, a powerful drama. On the evening of April 4, 1968, Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated outside room 306 of the Lorraine Motel in Memphis. What happened inside room 306 the night before he was killed is a mystery, as he spent that evening alone in his hotel room. In this acclaimed play, playwright Katori Hall fantasizes what may have transpired in the overnight hours between the legendary civil rights leader and a seemingly inconsequential hotel maid. Coinciding with the 50th anniversary of Dr. King's death, we hope you'll join us for The Mountaintop. Fans of Bluegrass will love the next program on the series. In fact, they won the Grammy Award for Best Bluegrass Album just a few months ago. They're called The Steel Drivers. And now, Spanish guitar. Placido Domingo himself calls this artist the master of guitar. And the New York Times raves, virtuosic playing characterized by irresistible exuberance. Spanish guitarists are always popular on intimate gatherings. Don't miss this recital by Pablo Sainz Viegas. I want you to go from Brazil to North America and explore those beautiful countries and their cultures through the different rhythms and melodies and pieces that I'm presenting in this CD. It's a different way of traveling. I want to invite you to be part of the journey and to explore all these different emotions that are in the end within yourself. And that's the real discovery. It's a different way of traveling. Part spoken word, part concert, and all heart. This program is a celebration of one of the most distinct voices of our time. We open the Intimate Gathering series this October with Lennon through a glass onion. I can hardly express my mixed emotions and my thoughtlessness. They say that a, a drowning man sees his life going in front of his eyes. And I thought, as Mark Chapman, the assassin, pulls the trigger and the bullets come out of the front of the gun, the, as those bullets are traveling through the air, in the millisecond that those bullets are traveling, Lennon knows he's going to die and his whole life goes <laughs> And so what I've done is captured those moments and I've spun them out into an hour and a half show. Lennon through a glass onion has arrived. The New York Post raves, Lennon's spirit shines through, and the New York Times says savor every minute. And finally, 
We have been trying to get this humorist on the season for years. At 73 years young, this septuagenarian sells out halls all over the country and charms audiences with her observations about life. Some of her most popular anecdotes include, don't go to Vegas with a Baptist, and don't bungee jump naked. Her name is Jeannie Robertson. Honey, do you think we should Twitter? <laughs> and he said, no, I'm tired. I know I have a pageant smile and I can pull it out any time. Everybody look at me right now. <laughs> See, you don't know it, but my pantyhose are near my knees. <laughs> but now I have judged at the Miss America pageant three times, and I'm older, and I'm wiser, and with age comes this wisdom. And I realized they were afraid I would win. The headline would have read, Hooker wins, Miss America. There. Right there. It's where I laughed so hard my water broke and I wasn't even pregnant. I have to say that really does look like a terrific lineup of programs. And remember what Ann said, get your tickets fast to all of these. And we have some breaking news, Mike. All right. We have just added a second performance by Jeannie Robertson. Mm. It will be on April 25th. All right, that's good, and that is breaking news for now. I think this may be the earliest we've ever added a second performance for a show, but Jeannie is immensely popular, and we want to accommodate her fans, many of which live right here in the Brazos Valley. All right, so switching gears from breaking news to main stage news. You have seven shows on the Ann Cobb Wyatt main stage this season. Lineup that includes several splashy Broadway musicals, a big time illusionist, and a holiday show for the entire family. Shall we just start right there? Sure. You might recall that we had a variety of holiday shows last year Elf, Rudolph, and Rockapella. This year, we have one holiday show, and it kind of rolls all of those into one. Plus, it adds the highest kicking chorus girls this side of the North Pole. Well, sponsored by Tom and Mary Kirk of McGregor, Texas. Start your family's holiday celebration with Christmas Wonderland Holiday Spectacular. Welcome to Christmas Wonderland. A dazzling Christmas extravaganza with wonderful Christmas songs, including White Christmas, Sleigh Ride, Deck the Halls, Santa Claus is coming to town, and lots more. This is the perfect Christmas show for all the family. Christmas Wonderland, the most loved Christmas show of all. The second program on the main stage season was booked as a result of the huge response you all got for The Illusionist last year. This guy is amazing. Yes, he is. He's a breakout star from the original Illusionist tour and their Broadway performances, but he was not a part of the Illusionist when we presented it last October. All right, he's known as the next generation of magic. Meet Adam Trent. Get ready to have your minds blown. Please welcome magician Adam Trent. Often. It's fantastic. Go see this show. 
This next one needs a little explanation, but you were telling me it was the third most requested musical on the survey. Yes, and mm. that surprised us a little bit. But it's such a huge part of our cultural landscape, it does make some sense. Well, sponsored by Shenandoah Veterinary Clinic and Elves Orthodontics, you're invited to step out in your ruby slippers and follow the yellow brick road to... The Wizard of Oz. Next up, a hilarious Tony Award winning musical. Yes, of all the Tony Award winners for Best Musical, I'm not sure any of them is as funny as this one. Mm. A most gentlemanly NPR critic said it best, I've never laughed so hard at a Broadway musical. It's called A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. <laughs> That does look hilarious. <laughs> it's the show with the least amount of name recognition yeah. on our season, but I guarantee you will laugh like you haven't laughed in a long time. It is hysterical. It looks like it. And from one Tony Award winner to another, this one won Best Musical in 2013. Talk about stepping out, although I'm not sure I could walk in these. With a score by Cindy Lauper, this hilarious and uplifting musical proves the best way to fit in is to stand out. We open our 45th season with Kinky Boots. Price and Sons spent the last century making a range of shoes for men. We will begin this century making a range of shoes for a range of men. Only two left. This one finished at the very top of your audience survey in every category, subscribers, students, and single ticket buyers. And when it comes to stepping out, no ensemble does it sexier than the ladies on Murderous Row. Mm. There's never been a better time to experience Broadway's longest running razzle-dazzle smash. So in April of 2018, you'll have three chances to see the longest running American musical in Broadway history. Chicago. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to see a story of murder, greed, corruption, violence, exploitation, adultery, and treachery. 
all the things we hold near and dear to our hearts. Come on, babe, why don't we paint the town? And all that jazz, I'm gonna rouge my knees and roll my stockings down. And all that jazz. Oh, I'm no one's wife, but oh, I love my life and all that jazz. That jazz. And finally, a family friendly musical with a happily ever after ending. Speaking of footwear in a Broadway show, That's right. the only thing that could challenge the ruby slippers of the Wizard of Oz, the high heels of Chicago, and the kinky boots of Kinky Boots mm -hmm. is a gorgeous pair of glass slippers. That's right. Sponsored by our friends at Aggie Lane Credit Union from Rogers and Hammerstein. It's Cinderella. How about that? It looks like wishes do come true. And I noticed at the end of that clip, you have a family friendly seal on Cinderella and several others on this season. I'm glad you caught that, Mike, because mm. I did want to talk about it a little bit. Last season, we noticed a significant increase in parents bringing their children to programs on the main stage like Elf, The Illusionist, and even the ballet. Mm. Unfortunately, our family series suffered a bit. So as this season started coming together, we noticed a wealth of main stage events that families could attend together. Okay, so titles like Illusionist, Adam Trent, Christmas Wonderland, The Wizard of Oz, and of course, Cinderella. Right. So we decided to highlight those family programs on the main stage with our new family-friendly seal. And we're using this season to visit with parents and find out what types of programs they'd like to see on future Opus Family and or Opus Junior seasons. Yeah, that's a great idea. So those series aren't gone forever. Though. Oh, absolutely not. Right. We just want to take some time to rethink our approach to programming those series for families in our community, especially considering the growing number of families that want to come to main stage events. Yeah, that's right. So this season, look for that family-friendly seal when considering bringing the kiddos to an Opus show. Yes, and please call our Opus office. I'm a mother and surprising to most of you, a grandmother. Real shock. <laughs> so I'm always interested in hearing from parents and grandparents about our programs. That's right. A gentle reminder, or should I say a gentlemanly reminder, single and season tickets are on sale now at msceopus.org. You can now pick up your seats by going to the website, or you can call the box office at 10 a.m. tomorrow. And thanks so much for joining us. It is always a pleasure to have you here. Thanks for having me, Mike. And we hope everyone will look forward to That's right. stepping out with us <laughs> for our season opener this September. Kinky Boots. That's Mike, right. we have mm. to get you a pair of these. What size are you? I don't believe so. Thanks for the offer, though. That's quite <laughs> sweet of you. I'm not answering that question either. Good night, everyone. Good night.